What's up guys? My name's Tim. Welcome back to Dynamite Explodes. Today we're playing some Refunct. That's right, this is a quirky little uh, FPS platformer game. It's actually pretty cool. It's really short, unfortunately, because it's really awesome. It's got this kind of aesthetic thing going where everything's black and white. When you touch it, it turns into these colorful blocks. Um, I mean, it, it actually it, rem it reminds me of like Minecraft blocks with the dirt on the side and the grass on the top, which is cool. That, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, the water sound effects are pretty shitty, but eh, you know, what are you going to do? It's like an indie game. But it, the, the controls are solid. You can jump and bounce off of walls. You can do a wall jump back and forth. You can slide on the ground. It's really, really cool. It's a really cool game. If you see it on sale, or if you're interested in this type of game, highly recommend picking it up. Fantastic game. So, uh, the other thing I want to talk about today is kind of a channel update type deal. Uh, because, you know, a lot of shit's been happening with me. And as you'll notice, uh, I haven't really been uploading all that uh, consistently. Which is going to change. Uh, I'm definitely going to get back onto the recording and editing uh, whole block thing. A uh, couple things that happened to me, um, last Monday I had jury duty, which sucked. <laughs> it was just an entire day of waiting around, like doing nothing. I pretty much read half of a book, uh, and that was uh, pretty much all I did that day. I mean, I did get chosen for to, to sit on a panel, but uh, that was that's where they choose which jurors they want to actually be a part of the case. But that's as far as I ever went in the uh, whole process. So then after that, I I don't know. I guess I got sick from that or something. I don't know. I was just really exhausted all the rest of the week. Every day I was just, just tired and just couldn't do anything. It was absolutely terrible. It was just, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say or, but about it. It's just, I, I, I felt just really, really tired. Um, I feel a lot better now. Um, this weekend went pretty cool. Uh, I uh, finished working on my desk. Uh, I made my own desk uh, <laughs> because I got this like little cubby area in my uh, room that I wanted to put a desk in. And I couldn't find one that fit the exact size, so I went out. And I'm pretty handy. Um, I've done a lot of I've done a lot of DIY type projects. Uh, I never made a piece of furniture before, so this was a first for me. Um, it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna throw a picture up right now. Boom! There's my desk. Yay! Um, so if I didn't have a desk, but uh, what was I using before? Well, I was I was you know, doing all my computer stuff on the Timulator, which isn't exactly ideal because you have to climb into the thing because I'm a fucking idiot and uh, just and thought uh, it would be cool to be able to climb into my Timulator, which it, which it is really cool, but it's really also very, very annoying. Um, and seeing that that was like my only like way of actually having a computer you know, to be on, it, it, it wasn't ideal. So I, I really need a desk, and I'm gonna redesign Timulator. Um, so I'll have Timulator 2.0 for me, and uh, put it on the opposite side of the room, and just basically move everything else out of this room. And so it's just gonna be my computer and the Timulator. And then I'm probably gonna make a main machine in the in the far future, but uh, that's way down the line. <laughs> um, so other things, uh, we we've been working. Me and my friends have been working on uh, a bunch of scripts for episodes for this uh skit series that uh we're gonna do i don't want to go too far into it because i don't want to spoil a lot of surprises and whatnot i'm kind of dorky like that but uh it's it should be cool it should be really funny uh at least i hope it'll be really funny it should be really cool we're all really excited about it um i'm actually going to be starting designing and uh making the set that we're going to be using next week um, and then we got to get costumes and finish the scripts because I want to get at least 12 episodes up or I mean at least 12 episodes written uh, before we even start shooting. I think we're at six or seven rough drafts uh, of episodes and I kind of want to get the rough drafts done first and then go back and kind of, you know, meld everything together and uh, make the uh, make each episode stand by itself. And uh, it's a long process. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do first and, you know, uh, also work on the set, getting the costumes. That's going to be the longest time crunch. 
then uh, as you've seen from my videos, I don't have a camera. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to buy a camera, I'm gonna have to buy lighting shit. Uh, like you, you wouldn't believe the amount of expenses that goes into actually filming something, something quote unquote professionally. It's just absolutely insane. And I gotta buy mics. I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe getting lapel mics, but I don't know, maybe a boom mic will work. Uh, it's it's a crazy, especially for someone like me who hasn't really done uh, any of uh, any sort of film work before or anything like that. I mean, I went to school for 3D modeling. I mean, <laughs> I'm a 3D modeler at heart, uh, not a, a director or, or cameraman or any of this other stuff. And it's really exciting and it's a whole lot of fun to be doing, but it's just, yeah, it's a big long learning process. But it's so much fun. I'm having a blast just writing the scripts, thinking about how I'm going to make the set and all that stuff. Because like I said, I, I am very handy. I, I'm very DIY-ish. I've done everything in, that needed to be done in my house, either completely by myself or with my, with my dad's help. And that's where I got that instilled from. My dad is a, a big DIY type guy. But yeah, I mean, he's helped me with a lot of stuff on my house, and uh, it's always a blast working with him on that stuff. But anyway, um, that's what's been going on with me these past two weeks. There is the, there's still the issue with the dog. He's actually doing a lot, lot better. Like last weekend, it was absolutely horrible. I don't, because I, I mean, I ran out of drugs, uh, tramadol, the, uh, the opiates uh, that he was taking last weekend. So. Because we were trying to, to wean him off of the, the painkillers and get him back into some normal semblance of a life. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was absolutely horrible. The, the worst weekend we could have possibly tried to do that. <laughs> so, well, maybe not the worst, but it, it wasn't fun. He kept trying to get at his foot where he had the surgery. But he's doing a lot better today. I mean, I think he went after it twice today. So uh, I'm thinking next week we can probably actually finally take the cone of shame off, um, which I'm sure he will be ecstatic about. But uh, and me too, because he just bashes that thing into you when he wants to like sniff you and get you know love and attention from me, which is just annoying. <laughs> so it'd be great once that comes off and he starts feeling better again. Um, and you know, hopefully the cancer won't come back and he'll live another you know, 10 years, hopefully. I mean, he's seven now, so 17 sounds like a good, good uh, long age for him. But yeah, uh, so that's what's going on with me, guys. Uh, how, 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 how are you guys been? Yeah, good, hopefully good. Let me know in the comments <laughs> down below. How has your week been going? Cause mine's been pretty shitty. Um, but it's, it's looking better. And you know, like I said, I'm, I am having a lot of fun doing it writing these episodes and writing the scripts for this series because i think it'll be really cool well all right guys that's gonna do it for this episode thank you so much for watching and uh remember subscribe for more dribble uh like the video comment down below um tune in tomorrow we are going back to action we're gonna get some more episodes out we're gonna play some games uh i i still want to do this uh playstation vr extravaganza because i i, I stupidly because I'm a fucking moron whenever a new console or anything comes out I gotta buy every game that comes out with it so I bought a shit ton of VR games for the PlayStation VR and I, I really want to show off you got to you guys you know the gambit of the PSVR and what it is it's really cool I, I love the thing to death it's awesome <laughs> but then after that I don't know uh, I mean I didn't completely finish Gal Guns but I kind of felt we were at a, a spot where it, it could end, and uh, I mean, I didn't want to ruin all the endings. Uh, I mean, personally, I didn't want to ruin all the endings uh, for you, for everyone out there who watches my videos. I'd rather you guys go in and play, and you know, at least find the the, the last two endings. I think it's two endings. The last two, or however many there were, I think there were still only two more. The last two endings on your own. Uh, I may. I, I'm probably gonna get back into streaming some or not streaming but recording some uh uh dragon quest builders uh i really love that game so i really want to get back into that and then i was also like i said streaming I'm, i was also thinking about doing some streaming especially since uh final fantasy 15 15 
15. It's coming out at the end of the, the month. Uh, I definitely want to play that game. And I was thinking about streaming. Uh, I mean, I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, you know, hop on Twitch, do a little uh, streaming of Final Fantasy 15. Let me know if uh, you guys would tune in for that. Because that'd be kind of cool, I think. I, I mean, I do want to do some more streaming just in general. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to stream Final Fantasy 15 because I'm super duper excited. That's probably the game I am most excited about this entire year. So yeah, anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more Dribble, like the video, comment on the video about how amazingly awesome I am or how horrible and degrading I am and how much you hate me. That's fine too. You can do that. I don't know. I mean, it hurt. And I feel kind of bad about that. But I'm just thinking about it. But this poem oh, makes me in tears. Well, but it's okay. Um, yeah. I'm getting weird now. So I'll talk to you guys later.